Well, great to see you. Um, a little bit of downtime. Playoffs in full swing, though. Just a quick reflection on the season. What might have been, or you got to be happy with the top ten finish? Uh, a bit of both, really. I think we're we're happy with the second half of the season. Um, obviously, watching the playoffs this week, and it is always a case of what might have been. But there's lots of positivity around. I think we're progressing. We're moving in the right direction. So, lots to look forward to. You are in the office. So it doesn't actually switch off. You've had to do the retain list first. Always a tricky part of the season, but again, the decisions made to sort of move the club forward on and off the pitch. Yeah, things are. That's the hardest part of my job, really, is to make those decisions. Um, you know, you form bonds and relationships with these lads, so releasing players is never easy, and, and obviously we've retained the majority. Um, but yeah, always looking to progress. Football, you can never stand still. It's always about progressing and moving forwards and. And that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, and those lads had helped with promotion last year, obviously. I'm sure you shook yeah. their hands and, and, and thanked them for that when they, when they left the building. Listen, they're fantastic players and, and fantastic lads. Um, it isn't ever personal. Um, it's about what's right for us uh, and what I deem right for us and the direction we're heading. So, as I said, difficult decisions, but now looking looking ahead to the future. Yeah, the next step is recruitment. You've made a good start with that. Jack Iredale in the building. Just tell us what, what appeals about Jack. Um, Jack's a player that we've been aware of, we've seen a lot of the last couple of years, and had a fantastic season, fits how we want to play, um, his strengths, you know, good with the ball, progressive passer, mobile, quick, can play multiple positions, you know, he ticks a lot of boxes, so we're, we're delighted to have him in and looking forward to working with him. And it's good to get it done early as well, I'm, I'm sure that's always everybody's plan, but and I'm sure the one or two more to come, you'll be beavering away behind the scenes. Well, we're really busy. Um, as I said, we're always looking at recruitment. Myself and Chris do a lot of work, and, and the lads behind Chris. So, yeah, we're always looking. We're always, you know, things change hourly, never mind daily in, in transfer windows. So, things are moving all the time, but we're, we're doing the best we can to make the best decisions for this football club. A bit of a two-pronged attack this summer because there's a B team that's being formulated during the summer, which is an exciting development. Yeah. Again, how, how is that progressing? And that you've got a, an extra member of coaching staff to come in as well. How, how are things looking? There? Again, things moving all the time behind the scenes. Lots of hard work going in. Um, no update as yet, but but things are moving fast. And we're probably going to announce our first pre-season games next month, next week. So again, things things do move quickly. There's a lot going on behind the scenes, and and that sort of B team. And, and the first team as well, the, the balance. I mean, that's a lot, lot to get stuck into this summer, isn't it? Yeah, there is. There's, I'm, I'm very busy, as you could, you know, you might guess I might get an hour or so off, but other than that, I'm, I'm full, full tilt and preparing us as best we can. B team, first team, recruitment of staff and players. Um, obviously, pre season planning, there's, there's lots to be doing. Just let's see on the pre season then. The team is not going to go away to Portugal for a week. Which you haven't been able to do since you came into the club in terms yeah. of go where you might have been. Again, what's the sort of uh, the thought process behind that and how will that, that week plan out? Well, I think, you know, um, firstly, thank you to, to Sharon and the board for enabling me to take the players away. Um, it's, a, it's a good first week um, to get them away, to get them 24 hours a day, to have their focus, um, to get some real detail and fitness work into them and also for, for team spirit and team morale team bonding it, it's it's a really good thing so as I said we're really looking forward to that um, it seems to be coming around really fast um, the days keep ticking away um, but I can't wait to get started again yeah, there won't be a game out there just to clarify but you, as I say a good train out there and come back and then hit the game schedule and, and exactly and that as I said that first week is is vital to us to get lots of work into them and, and having them 24 hours a day with no distraction is important so yeah I'm looking forward to it.